This is the part one of the video series on patterns of cube numbers. And here we have a pattern. It is, it starts from the first natural number that is one. So one cube is equal to one. That is one here, simply one. Then you have two cubed is equal to eight. That is equal to five plus three. Now, if you notice here, this one is an odd number. And here three is an odd number and five is an odd number. So this is three plus five addition of two consecutive odd numbers, right? And this two consecutive odd numbers means gives a count two, that is equal to this number, two. Now, this is three cubed, that is equal to 27. And this is seven plus nine plus 11. Seven is an odd number, nine is an odd number, 11 is an odd number. So therefore, this is, we have expressed this 27 as the addition of three, of three consecutive odd numbers. Remember, here you have three, so here also you have three consecutive odd numbers. Okay, then you have four cubed. Four cubed means four times four times four, that is 164. We have expressed 164 as 13 plus 15 plus 17 plus 19, an odd number, an odd number, an odd number, an odd number. That is addition of four, this four, Therefore, here also you have four consecutive odd numbers. Okay, here you have five cubed. It means that five times five times five, that is 125. And it has been expressed as 21 plus 23 plus 25 plus 27 plus 29. That is five consecutive odd numbers. This five, therefore here also you have five, addition of five consecutive uh, odd numbers. Okay. The next question that comes to your mind will be that how to decide like here you have 29, here you have 19. Is there any pattern in that? Like if someone asks you that can you tell about 9 cubed or even uh, 19 cubed, right? Yes, you can and very easily. Let me tell you how. So pay attention here. What is this? This is one, right? So let me start from here. This is one and what's one square? One square is equal to one, okay? Then tell me what is one minus one? One minus one is actually equal to zero. Add this zero here, you get one and start your number one from here. Okay, now wait. What is this? This is two cubed. Okay, so this is two. What's two squared? Two squared is four. Okay, now tell me what's two minus one? Two minus one is equal to one. Add this one here, you get five. Right, so your five comes here. Now since this is two, therefore addition of two consecutive odd numbers. So what or which odd number comes before five? Clearly three, so addition of two consecutive odd numbers, three and five, okay? What's this? This is three cubed, okay? So if this is three, what's three squared? Three squared is nine, very good. What's three minus one? Three minus one is two. Okay, add two here, you get nine plus two as 11. Okay, this 11 is here. Now this is three, therefore addition of three consecutive odd numbers. So what, which odd number comes before 11, that is nine, and which odd number comes before nine, that is seven. So three addition of three consecutive odd numbers, right? Now you have four cubed. So What's four squared? That is equal to, it is equal to 16, okay? What's four minus one? It's equal to three. Add this three here, you get 19, okay? So this is 19 here, okay? Now addition of four consecutive odd numbers, which odd number comes before 19? 17. Which odd number comes before 17? 15. Which odd number comes before 15? 13. So addition of four consecutive odd numbers, that is here, okay. Next you have five cubed. What's five squared? 
5 squared is 25. What is 5 minus 1? That is, it is 4. Add 4 here. So 25 plus 4 is what? 29. We have, you have 29 here. So addition of now 5 consecutive odd numbers. Which odd number comes before 29? 27. Which odd number comes before 27? 25. Before 25, 23. Before 23, 21. So addition of 5 consecutive odd numbers. That is the pattern for the number that will come here. So if someone asks you that, if you are asked that on this, this pattern, tell us what will be 11 cubed, right? What will be 11 cubed? So let's say that you have to tell 11 cubed. Okay, now I leave, leave this one for you. Okay, just find this. I'll explain you this one. So what's 11? Sorry, you have 11 cubed. So what's 11 squared? 11 squared is 121. Okay, what is 120? Sorry, what is 11 minus 1? It's 10. So add this 10 here, you get 131. Okay, so number will start, the number that comes here is, will be 131. Now you have to add 11 consecutive odd numbers. What comes, which odd number comes before 131? It is 129. Which odd number comes before 129? It is 127. Then you'll have 125. Then you will have 123, then 121, you will have 119. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You have this eighth one, this is ninth one, this is tenth one, and I'm writing it here. You will have Okay, so 111 plus 113 plus 115, 117, 119, 121, 123, 125, 127 plus 129 plus 131. That will be 11 cubed. Addition of 11 consecutive odd numbers. Okay, now let's take one smaller number. So if you are asked to tell what will be 8 cubed, what will be 8 cubed? Okay, so what's, let's say 8 cubed. Leave this one for you. So what's 8 squared? That is 64. What is 8 minus 1? It is 7. Add this 7 here. You get 64 plus 7, that is 71. So your number starts with, sorry, here you'll get 71. And you'll have eight consecutive odd numbers, right? So 71 plus 69 plus 67 plus 65 plus 63 plus 61. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one, eight one. Right? So this is you have expressed 8 cubed in the form of addition of 8 consecutive odd numbers.